Evening, madam. Mashrita nanos ya kampa. Ya mag. Ya ga mag. Ya zagastenakia. Ashtakaralyosh. Couldn't have said it better myself. You have yourself a peaceful night now. It's a bearded cultist hanging out by that trash can. Never a good boy, Randolph, is you? Is you? Uh, evening, brother. Hello. Anything else? Guess not. Later. That guy's really passionate about Father Dagon. Dagon, judge me! Dagon, judge me! <laughs> oh, you say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra are uh, our. Uh, Biggest problem! They are our biggest problem! And it has never been uh, uh, clearer that uh, w w with their help uh, we shall never. Uh... Achieve anything! We shall never achieve anything! Or no, any other. Uh, gods, look around, brothers. Cast your your eyes on the person next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of. Uh... Losers! A group of losers! Like I've never uh, seen before! And our uh, numbers are always r rising. Make no mistake, our um, uh, en en endeavor is a. Uh, uh... Waste of time! Our endeavor is a waste of time! Fear us, uh, world! Take a good, a hard look at us, for we shall bring uh, uh, nothing but, um, um, but, um... Lemon cake and cotton candy. Lemon cake and cotton candy to your doorstep. Uh, we are uh, uh, the, the next in, in, in line uh, uh, for, um... All right, that got him a little riled up. Brothers, brothers, wait, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't mean. He's also got a problem with ending his sentences. They gon' do. Nah. They're a bit more excited now. This weirdo is really interested in what's going on in the distance. Don't want nothing to do with them. The creepy horn shaped reef is giving me the chills. And what are. He looks like he's guarding whatever insanity's going down in the water. Jeez. Say it, guy! 
inside and watching them take to the water. Yeah, yeah. Father Dagon, take them in his arms. I'm leaving him alone. Some kind of... I don't even know how to describe it. It's going on far in the water. Next to the reef. It is time! Brothers! It is time! It's a non-festive looking dude. Just chilling over there. Man, I love Azanath. Man, I love her. Evening, sir. No offense, but you don't really look like you belong here. Oh, hey there, Padre. Yeah, no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. My wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, well, sort of a goodbye to the old way of living on her part, as an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives around. Oh? Is she around? She's in there, getting some fish and chips for us. Ugh, not partial to fish myself. Then what the heck are you here for, dude? <laughs> but yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey... When in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here. And then, we're totally changing our lives around. You mentioned changing your lives around. Yup, we're going vegan, baby. Oh, that's uh, nice, I guess. Concerned about uh, animal welfare and the environment, huh? Uh, yeah, that too, kind of. It's just... It's the end thing to be, you know. But we'll see how that goes. You never know. We might just go back to steaks afterwards. I guess it's up to you, but uh, how does that make sense? Going from vegan to meat eater? You just go from being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat to being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat. Works both ways. The beauty of symmetry, bro. Although, yeah, makes you think, you know, sometimes I just sit and wonder what gives us the right to kill and eat other beings just because they ain't human, you know, because they can't reason like we do. So what? Doesn't take reasoning to know you don't feel like being gutted and eaten. No, I'm saying. That went dark all of a sudden. You telling me you never consider these things? An almost lifelong diet of steaks and cold hot dogs is a hard thing to leave behind, I guess, but, uh... Yeah, you know, you sort of make an interesting point there. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth discussing these issues, you know? But discussing takes a lot of energy, and me myself, I'm famished. Now where's Azanath with those fish and chips, though? You know anything about a guy called the Butcher? Butcher? Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. Nice to see someone happily married. Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? Me? Happily? Huh. No. But uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? She's not one of those all up in your business wives, you know? She ain't about, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah, I love that she gives me my personal space. What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and leaving my life and my time to myself. Tell me another thing you like about her. 
You know what? This conversation's getting a bit weird, and I'm too hungry for it. Ah, right. Sorry. Hey, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, he's kind of ruining my appetite. Which is cool, though, because I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. It's cool, bro, seriously. I'm not judging. Yeah, thanks. It means a lot. All right, man. I'll, uh, I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Enjoy the festival, Brosif. And don't indulge too much, you hear? Ha ha ha! I'm pretty sure that's Gustav. Gustav! Hey up there. Gustav! This baby ain't sailing anywhere ever again. This bozo's out cold, feet in the air, underwear flying in the wind. Disgraceful. He also dropped all his eggs. I mean, don't drink like a fish again. The eggs need to be there in time for the ritual. Ew. And I thought I knew rotten eggs. Ooh, this one takes it to the next level. I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. That is the definition of rear window. I don't think I want to. We're full. Go somewhere else. Stop pushing. There, even more mad. We're getting there. That's Brother Jan. He joined our elite gatekeeping squad recently. Just like these other brothers, he's taken a vow of silence. But as you can see, he's still rocking out. Internally, as it were. Let's not and say we did. That's Brother David, a member of my elite squad of gatekeepers. Not much is known about him. This guy truly is a mystery. That's Brother Matthew, one of our elite gatekeepers. He joined after searching for a way to unlock the secrets of influence in the universe. Crazy stuff. Anyway, it led him to Fishmouth, and now, ha, well, he holds a secret of his own. No point in that. Brother Matthew's taking the oath of silence, too. Part of the elite squad deal. That right there is Brother Aelin. He hails from Transylvania, Romania. Came a long way to join our elite forces, that's for sure. Seems to be the guy in charge of these guards. Let's not and say we did. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, eh? So are you, Malusco? You're darn tootin' I'm Malusco. Oh yeah? Good! 
Chief Piovara specifically said don't let Malus go in. Forget about it. Wait, 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 wait. Me? Molusco? Huh. Mr. Confused Identity over here. Well, who are you then? Pescatory? Yep, in the flesh. Oh, good. You're finally here. I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Oh yeah? Tell me what the meal is then. May Father Dagon forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal, the ultimate feast for the dreamer. Damn butcher, cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half goofer. It ain't natural. We talking GMOs here or... Uh... I ain't in the mood for joking. He played us good, Pescatori. The dreamer yet hungers, brother. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon. For Dagon, indeed. We've let him down, brother. We raised that thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. Ooh, that flesh tinker and lunatic ran away with it. Oh wow, we know that for sure. <laughs> Ain't that why you're here to find out for sure? The elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone. But go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait. I got specific instructions, though. You can go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piovra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. He's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ugh, drinks like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> Alright, I'll return with Piovra. See you guys. Salute!